technology teacher here. I'm just going to show you some of the basics of using Wii Video. So this is the home page. This is after you log in with your Google account. Use time. This says that you're, you can use up to five minutes of time. It doesn't allow you to um, use more than five minutes. And then this little circle here, it's about storage. You can store up to one gigabyte worth of stuff. There are some tutorials here, so if you're gonna if you want to do this on your own or you know outside of school, you can check out some of those tutorials or blog posts. And then down here you have your recent edits. So let's move into uploading your content. So if you click this, then you can go ahead and just upload stuff from Google Drive, from Facebook, from Box, Instagram, I mean a lot of different places. So I already have some media, so I'm just gonna go right to media right up here at the top. This is another toolbar you can use. It's got home, media, and videos. So it's really easy. And then we have this. This is our filter button. And we have a sort button. So if we had more than just two videos, we could easily sort or we could filter. So let's go to all. And let's go to videos. So we'll go ahead and start our first video. Once you are in here, there's a couple things that you want to know. This right here is just a little video that I have. See, it won't go to audio because it's a video file, so it turns red. So you got to go where it, where it goes green. You just drag and drop these. So let's say I have that, and then I have this. And then to find some stock music, they have some stock audio there. See free music. I'm just gonna try to listen to something. So you like that one. We drag it. Now look, this one will not drop into the video files. You have to drop it into the audio side. And this works just like how um other like if you have ever used iMovie or Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, it works the same way. Now what you can do is you can let's say we want the audio to be quieter. Maybe we'd bring it down to 30. And then let's go ahead and start playing with this. So now that we have our media in here, right now you cannot see a hand. You can only see, oops, you can only see the particles. It's like space particles or whatever this is. So first what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drag. See this like um, ruler thing right here? We're going to want to drag this. to where we want to trim it at. So let's say I want mine to be done right at the very end. Right about there. Then I can click this scissors button right here. And I can click the scissors button. I have to click on each individual one. So see now I can move this or I can just click the delete button and get rid of that. So now I have them all at the same time. So that's how you trim it all down. Okay, so now that we have our animation, we have our hand, we have our music all about the same length, we're going to go ahead and we're going to advanced edit one of these videos. So I can just double click on it to advanced edit. And then as you can see, I can scale it down. So see now it fits in the palm of my hand. Or I can scale it up. So let's say I want to scale it down so it fits in the palm of my hand. You can also do things like rotate, but I kind of like that one. <clears throat> you can blur the background. We don't have any audio on this video, but you could change the audio. You can animate it. You can change the brightness of the clip, which it's pretty black and white, so it's kind of hard to... But you can move these around and kind of see. You can kind of see what it does here. Especially with contrast. See how it goes from like that to that. So maybe I want to make mine really contrasty. And then add some red hue in there. And as you can see, these last two, this is like the green screen one. And I'm not sure. Oh, this, I guess, smooths it in and speeds it up. 
it's only for paid people so we can't really use it I mean, you can but it's not going to finish your video so now we're going to click done editing now let's go ahead like I said we'll just move this back from the beginning and then press the space bar great so now let's double click the hand see if we want to edit this any Maybe what we want to do is just change the brightness of it. So maybe we want to make it a little darker. Change the contrast. You really just have to play around with the different, I kind of like this. Let's give it some blue. And now we're done. All right, so now these two video clips have been edited. And then lastly, we have this audio clip. We'll double click that. And the only thing that this allows you to do is if you double click, see how it's just like um, in Soundation or GarageBand, you can fade in, you can fade out. So maybe I want to just fade in on this video. And I want to fade in from 50% to 100%. We'll go back to the beginning. Perfect. Now we're almost done. There's only a couple other things that I want to add. You can do transitions. So for example, if you had more than one clip, you can do some transitions. Some of these are really cool looking. Look at that. Very cool. The stock stock audio is here. Sound effects. There's some there's some funny sound effects in here too. So I mean you can just I have to listen to them all. The cat purring. But the last thing that we need to do is we need to add text and then we're done. Um, I like lower thirds. It's just easier to read. So we'll drop it right there. Insert. Oh, wait a second. So what's happening here is it's not letting us just drop it over our other video. So what we have to do is we have to create a new video file. We'll just call it video three. And that's where we'll have to put our text. So see now it shows up. And then I can just double click on this. And now I can change what I want to call this. So I'm going to call this one Space Hand. Remember you have to give yours a name. So call it Space Hand. Maybe I want to up the size. I can do that right here. Um, I can change the colors of them. This one really does match with that blue, but maybe I want like a little lighter of a blue. No, I'll do it right there. Um, you, know, you can play around with spacing a little bit. And let's see, I want to do that, bring down the size, shrink it down here. And you can also animate it if you want. I'm not going to animate mine. Make mine bold, and then I'm done. So this is all there is to it. I can scroll back to the beginning now, and I can see it. I've added text. I've added a video. I have a background. I'm good. So now the last thing you need to do is we're not going to, oops, sorry. We're not going to add a theme. You can also, I mean, I wouldn't suggest adding a theme. Just finish. I'm going to give it a title. Give it a title that's going to be easy to know, easy to remember. Space hand. And then we can do, you can do 720p if you want. However, I suggest just 480 because it's not going to look much different. And then you're going to want to publish it to Google Drive. It's just going to be easier for you to find it. Then you just finish video.